Hey guys, it's Jeff here. We're playing Civilization 5 and I'm choosing the Civilization Venice just for a bit of a challenge. Um, so Venice, you cannot acquire settlers by any means and you can't annex cities, but you can puppet cities, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, definitely quite a challenge. Um, Venice also get double the number of trade routes and they also have their regular merchant is changed for the Merchant of Venice. And now the Merchant of Venice can purchase city-states, so that's going to be quite interesting. And we also have the Great Gallius, which hopefully is going to allow me to dominate uh, the ocean areas uh, fairly early on in the game. Uh, we're playing with mo uh, continents, small map size, 12 city-states, difficulty level king, so the AI will receive uh, a small advantage, but hopefully it's not going to be too crazy, um, especially playing with Venice, and we are playing on a standard game pace. So let's start the game. Greetings, most astute doge. Enrico Dandolo of Venice, master of statecraft and shrewd negotiator. Although you rose to power late in life, old age did little to slow your cunning or ambition, as you deftly managed the bustling commercial center of Venice during a time of great instability. In aligning yourself with the Fourth Crusade, you carefully gained a strategic advantage and used the Crusaders to reacquire lost territory for Venice. Your role in guiding the Crusaders during the sacking of Constantinople led to an even greater expansion of your power and secured your legacy throughout history. Most insightful and cunning doge, Venice once again requires the service of a skilled leader, one who can bring the Republic back to the forefront of world affairs. Can you establish your nation through careful trade or will you work to conquer your enemies through diplomacy? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Well, I'll certainly try. I'm definitely no pro at this game. I have played a few times before, but there's a lot of uh, aspects of this game that I'm still really trying to wrap my head around. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be kind of exciting for you guys to watch, but I'll try my best and try not to make too many mistakes, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a few mistakes. Now, are we actually on the coast here? Um... Jungle, hill. Uh, we can move over to the, the Coco. I think I may move one, actually, over here. Let's move the Warriors first a little bit. Um, okay, we have the Mount... Oh, that's interesting. If I, if I grab the Bananas here, we'd be next to a mountain. Um, we'd have uh, quite a bit of growth there as well. I would like to see what's a little bit further around. Um, we have the other uh, pearls here as well. They're one, two, three. They're three away, so we could still grab the pearls. Um, if I did go to the mountain area here, I think that is actually what I might do. Let's move over to the mountains. I don't know if that's the best uh, option or not, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, next turn. Now it's going to be... Did I not pick my... Let's... let's found this city here. There we go. Okay, we need to settle the city before we got the research, of course. Okay, so... Let's have a little bit of a scout around and see what's see what's around here. I'm just going to maybe move around these mountains <clears throat> and see what we can find. It looks like we have a few ruins here as well. Um, let's go straight into pottery. We can get the, the granary up and running. Um, and we might as well start with a scout. Five turns to a scout, which is not so bad. We do have a little bit of production here. Um, food is okay as well. Looks like we have some jungle uh, tiles around us. We're going to grab the, the cocoa over here and the pearls as well. Looks like we've got some deers just to the west of us as well. Okay, 15 turns until border growth. Let's carry on. We'll get this scout out, have a bit of a look around and, and uh, see what we can find. The turns always go really quickly in the beginning of the game, and um, yeah, if it's if if I find somewhere good, <laughs> you have found cultural artifacts which all your citizens you've received twenty culture beautiful. So we're almost ready to pick a policy already. Um, yeah, as I was saying, if we find a really good spot, a really good location, unfortunately we can't send any settlers out there to to settle in that area. Playing with Venice, so it can be a little bit frustrating. Uh, playing as Venice, but we're just going to have to do the best uh, that we can do. Hopefully we'll find some, some good city-states 
close by that we can actually buy out. Now I do believe once we hit the classical area playing as Venice we will get a Merchant of Venice. So that's probably going to be our, our first Merchant. Um, so before we do enter the classical area I do want to kind of scout out this area quite well and just find out where some of the other civilizations are and where the city-states are as well. Uh, we can adopt a policy now which is great. We've got our scout as well. Let's go with uh, tradition for the extra three culture. There we go. Now we may be heading towards a culture victory. I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's definitely an option playing with a single city here. Single city-state. Um, single city civilization I should say. Uh, let's go for the monument. It's going to give us plus two culture as well. Let's get our culture beefed up as quickly as possible. I'm going to send my scout just up to the north a little bit and see what we can find. If there are some warriors around, sorry, if there are barbarians around here, then I can always use them for a bit of extra XP. If I can find an, a barbarian encampment uh, nearby. I can always have my warrior kind of camp out next to it and uh, start taking out these barbarians and... Um, oh, there we go. Okay, we do have some barbarians to the north. My scouts are probably not able to um, to take them out, actually. So I might just stay away a little bit uh, with my scouts, but my warriors can go and deal with them. And we have found Spain. I am Isabella, Isabel Queen of Spain. Are you a righteous ruler? Yes, I am. Maybe. Maybe I am. Um, okay. We have Spain. Fairly close to us, actually. Spain is, is fairly close. Let's see if there's anyone to the south. Looks like we have a thin area of land here that we can, that we can get through. Okay, city growth in one turn, a monument in six turns. So, once that happens, I just want to have a quick look at the civilization management here. Citizen management, I should say. Um, i just see what we're looking for. We've got... Okay, eight turns until a new citizen is born. We're kind of going for food here. Let's take that one off. Uh, 23 turns and... Four turns. Okay, it only increases the reduces the monument by one turn. So I might just stick with the food uh, for the time being. So that is fine. We can also buy a tile in the future, but not now. I think we'll just leave it, and I'll continue growing my city. Uh, pottery is coming up in one turn. We're probably going to go for the granary. Now Venice is is not such a good city for going down the religious path. It's uh, a little bit a little bit difficult to do that with one city so I may actually kind of just ignore <laughs> the the whole faith based system in this game but we'll see how we go okay so we have pottery we get the granary and the shrine if we want it um, definitely want the granary so uh, looks like we've come to the end of the road here with the scouts can they there's a city state over there but I can't quite reach it um, so I'm just gonna have to head back for the time being my warrior is gonna do a little bit of a loop around um, don't want to stay too far away from my city. We've discovered more ruins as well. We have um, another research um, topic to pick as well. Um, I do want to get these caravans out as quickly as possible, but I also may possibly go for the Great Library. Um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of torn between these two, um, but I, I may try for the Great Library first. I'm not sure if. I'm going to be able to get it, but we do have a little bit of production here with the hills around the place, so we we might we might try for that first. If that doesn't work, uh, we'll go for the the caravans and, and get some uh, trade routes set up as well. Okay, ten turns. We are at ten turn. Turn. We are at turn ten. Um, things are going okay. Turn eleven. Um, who do we have here? Spanish. Spanish warriors. Are they going to get this? They may get the ruin before me. Natural wonder found. Mount Kailash. Six faith. Two happiness. Mount Kailash. Okay. 
Beautiful. Hopefully I'll get these ruins. I think they may, the Spanish warriors may get them on the next turn. So I might just miss out. Did I actually move my scout or not? Um, I didn't actually move my scout. It's asking me to click next turn, but my scouts still have some movement. All right, let's do this. The Pantheon has also been founded. Writing, uh, we've got 10 turns. Nine turns now until we we get writing and we can possibly go for the Great Library. I'm just going to stay to the south of those barbarians and, yeah, the ruins. You took those ruins. I can't believe it. Look at these Spanish warriors everywhere. Um, we've got more barbarians as well. Um, I'm actually going to head up to the north just to protect my city and some workers if I do uh, produce a worker. And uh, I want to see if these guys are going to battle it out, actually. No, they're running away. The Spanish warriors are running away from the barbarians, and the barbarians are chasing them. Um, let's scout up a little bit to the. We may go to the north. I may. Uh, I definitely want to avoid that uh, that barbarian camp. My scouts aren't really ready for that. Now we do have a minor victory if we do t attack these these brutes. Um, I might see they're probably not going to attack me, but let's let's just stay alert for the time being, and let's just see what happens down there. Let's see who the Brutes go for. And uh, we're going to have our Monument in this turn. Writing, seven turns. City growth in three turns. So we're going fairly well. We can adopt another policy, which is great. Uh, we can go for... Let's go for Aristocracy. If we are going for the Great Library, then I think that is definitely going to help. Um, should maybe... Oh, we've got... We've got, we got Brutes coming. So what I'm going to have to do is... Just fortify my scouts there. Um, they're attacking me, are they? <laughs> All the Spanish warriors ran away <laughs> and the brutes are attacking me. Fair enough. Well, let's take them out then. They shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. Um, let's choose production. We have just built the monument, so we're getting fairly good culture here, plus six culture. Um, I do want to go for the... we're going to go for the granary first, I think. Um, even if I have some workers where... we've got jungle tiles all around here, and until we have the proper technology, I think it's a uh, calendar, um, we can not actually remove this yeah, the cocoa requires calendar there. Um, yes, yeah, so we can't actually remove this jungle. So let's go for the granary first, and hopefully we'll be able to um, get a few extra technologies um, by the time that is ready. Let's just have a look and see where these warriors are going. I may actually remove this camp here. It's quite close to my city, and I am a little bit worried about it now. They're running away now, are they? Um, I don't want the, Sp the Spanish guys to finish them off. I want to get the uh, the XP for for taking out these guys. Oh. Spain. They took the ruin, they took the barbarians. Oh, I'm not happy about this at all. I'm not happy about Spain taking that barbarian and taking the ruin as well. Um maybe I'll take the encampment. Let's see if they they do attack the encampment. Maybe I'll take it. Um, once they've damaged it a little bit. Uh, we've got some brutes in my border. Let's take them out. And um, I'm just going to leave my scouts as fortified there for the time being um, until until the, these brutes are weakened just a little bit more. Now, I haven't been able to find any city-states yet. Um, looks like the Spanish warriors have fortified there and they're healing up. So they're, yeah, they're just taking all of these things underneath my nose. They could be my my arch enemy in the future. I'm not sure. Let's head my um, warriors back up because I actually want to deal with this this camp up here. Um, and we can bomb them again. Let, can we take them out? I don't think so. No, I can't take them out, so I'll just leave them for the time being. Although, it, it would be good to um, to give my scouts a little bit of uh, XP as well. Um, looks like they've moved back in, so I'll attack them once with the city, and then I should be able to take them out with my scouts. There we go. Beautiful. And my warriors, let's move them back up. We'll deal with the camp to the north. Two turns until we have riding. 
Eight turns for a granary. Let's just quickly have a look at this and see if we're doing things the best way here. Um, okay, we're locked on to food there. Uh, 29 turns until a citizen is born, uh, as opposed to 10 turns. So it makes a huge difference there. Um, but if we go to production, um, granary eight turns. If we take it off, seven turns. If we go production focus, uh, six turns. So we can save an extra two turns for the granary. Um, but you know what? I may just stick with. Uh, let's see. We're just going to stick with growth uh, for the time being. Okay, that's fine. We're going to stick with growth. Um, let's heal up my scouts. Um, and then we'll send them up to the north and also to the to the east as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get past Madrid there. Um, and we can also scout out down to the south as well. So there's a little bit of area that we still need to explore. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. Okay, we are finished writing. We can choose some more research. Let's send these... Let's heal these warriors up as well. Uh, we can choose more research. I'm just going to open up the technology tree so we can have a little bit of a look and uh, see what we've got. I definitely want sailing um, in the very near future. What I'm actually heading for fairly early on is going to be the compass so we can get out our great galleuses and um, send them out into the ocean and hopefully maybe take out some, some other civilizations or at least weaken them. Um, but we also need to get these, just the basics as well, I suppose. So let's go with animal husbandry first. We can get our first caravans out as well. So now that we have writing, we will be able to um, to change to the Great Library. 33 turns. Uh, if I do, do go for the Great Library, um, I'll, I'll probably grab this production tile here. Otherwise, we have the regular library and the shrine. The granary is coming. I don't want to... I don't want to stop that, so I'll let that finish, and uh, yeah, we'll just see how we go. If there's a city-state nearby that I could actually um, take over as its worker, I'd probably do that as well. Um, the scout has been healed up, so let's move these scouts just... Let's move them one at a time. Let's see if there are any any barbarians up here. Um, I don't don't see any barbarians yet, so... Send these, send these scouts out, having a little bit of a look around, um, and see what we can find. Now, I probably am going to make a lot of mistakes in this game, I'm just warning you. <laughs> I still am, you know, I have played a few times before, but there still are a lot of features that I am still working out and uh, trying to understand. So, I'll try to do the best I can, but if I do make mistakes, you can uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, hopefully I'll get better and better as I play along. But I thought Venice would be just an interesting an interesting choice to play. Um, you know, it has a unique, unique feature. Obviously, it's uh, it's one of the one of the worst civilizations you can choose. It's a tier six civilization. And are there three lots of fish here? Oh, we got pearls, and we got oh, we've got uh, we've got two pearls, we've got two fish here. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to get some workboats out and. Um, start working those ocean tiles as well so I didn't even didn't even really notice we had those fish there I just saw the pearls um, I'm actually just take this yield off uh, for the time being it's getting a little bit it gets a little bit crowded we've got uh, barbarians over here to the east as well uh, we can adopt another policy I'm gonna go with I may continue on down the tradition route. Um, it's possible that once we get to the classical era, I will actually choose patronage just because we are playing Venice. Um, and it's probably going to be fairly handy <laughs> a bit later on in the game. Um, but let's go for the time being with our oligarchy and see, see where that gets us. Okay, so let's move this scout. We'll just go one at a time and see what we can find... Uh, we've got Spain over there as well. Now these warriors, are they going to cause me trouble? I do want to take out this encampment, but I don't want to get uh, blindsided by these these brutes coming in from the east as well. Okay, the people with the pointiest sticks, we are doing fairly badly. Um, Spain is... Uh, 
doing fairly badly as well, but uh, a little bit better than us. Um, let's head up here. No, we don't have any brutes to deal with over there, so I can just hopefully take out that encampment. Um, let's run around Madrid and see what the area is like over here. Still looking for some city-states on this continent, actually. I do want somebody to trade with. Um, I guess I can trade with Isabella. If I do go to war with her, though, it... Um, could get a little bit tricky. Uh, we just have animal husbandry. We don't have any cows around the place. Do we have horses? Uh, we don't. Actually, we do have deer here. We don't have cows, but we do have deer. Um, which is going to give us plus one food once I get a worker over there. Uh, so where are these horses? Let me just have a quick look. Um, there are absolutely no horses at all. Okay, well, I may need to trade for horses if I if I want them a little bit later. Um, so, yeah, let's take out this camp. Uh, hold on a second, that didn't look... Okay. They're up on a hill. Alright, they're up on a hill. That may not work. I may need to bring in the archers a little bit later, so I might, I might just retreat <laughs> from that area. I may retreat from that battle. Um... Okay, should we go for the Great Library? It's definitely going to give us uh, a science boost. And it also gives us a, a free technology and a library in the city as well. Now, I do want a worker. Mm. I should probably go the worker first and then the Great Library. Uh, we can put a mine up here depending on what technologies we have. Let's go for the worker first um, and then we'll go for the Great Library. Hopefully, we'll still have the, the opportunity to, to build it. Um, Okay, let's do let's do mining. We can chop down a forest. Do we have any forest here? We only have jungles. Actually, we do have one forest over here by the deer. Um, these jungles are going to be a little bit harder to clear if I do if I do want to clear them. Um, I'll definitely need to clear this one over here with the cocoa. Um, the rest of them, I think I'll just leave for now. But we can build a mine uh, just next to the city and get some extra production there, which is going to help us. Uh, it's going to help us with the Great Library. So I'll put a mine here, and hopefully the Great Library is going to be easier to build. We've got marble over there as well. Um, so let's head down. Um, I can't take these guys out. There is another barbarian brute over here, so um, they may be a good target to, to skill up my warriors. Um, just shared embassy with Spain there, with Isabella. Okay, I'm just going to send my warriors this way a little bit and see if those brutes are still there. Let's send the scouts over to the east. It looks like we've come to the edge of the continent as well. Um, okay, there is a city-state here, and it looks like they're being attacked by some barbarians, but I'll go and say hello to them, and uh, they should give me some gift. And uh, they're another future potential trading partner, and in fact, I could, I could actually buy them out fairly quickly. Um, once we hit the classical era. I'm just going to bring my warriors back here a bit. We've got two barbarians coming in. We've got two brutes coming in. Um, and I want to make sure my city can attack these brutes. Um, okay, natural wonder found, Uluru. Okay, and we've also met Kathmandu, is a religious city-state, a rational personality with horses and spices as well. They provide us a gift of 30 gold and also award us with 8 faith. Okay, beautiful. Um, they're right next to Uluru as well. Okay, we have found mining. We can construct a mine and chop down a forest as well. So we have uh, a worker coming in seven turns. Um, let's take out these barbarians. And how's that going to go for us? Yeah, we'll attack. I should be pretty safe here. We get the XP as well. Um, just have a look at my... I'm a little bit worried about my scouts. No, we can take them out. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to take these guys out. We are trespassing now, but can we get out of here? No, we can't. Well, there's the encampment just to the south. So I do want to stay away from that. Um, 
let's choose our research. I suppose now we can go for. Oh gosh, I think. Well, I I do want to take out the that uh, barbarian barbarian encampment. So I will actually go for archery first uh, before I choose sailing. Um, Although I am going to need bronze working in order to remove a jungle, so it's going to be interesting. Interesting. Let's go for archery. I can get an archer out, and then I will be able to deal with that encampment to the north. Um, not that it's really bothering me. I think I can handle. I will be able to handle the the uh, the brutes that are coming out of there. But um, yeah, just just feel a little bit safer with with some archers because we do have more brutes coming in as well so let's take these guys out bang and I kind of don't want to leave my guys open but I yeah let's take them out okay plus five XP we should be leveling up uh, we can promote a unit we can promote our scouts as well um, so we're gonna go um, increased scouting range there we go should make things a little bit easier to see what's coming up. And I do want to stay away from that encampment as well. Um, looks like those brutes are, have moved just to the north. I'm just going to move my guys back a little bit just so I'm protected by the city. And my scouts can just continue moving around Madrid. We have found some ruins. Beautiful. Oh, 30 faith. Okay. I was not expecting that, but we do have 30 faith. And I can promote my warriors as well, so let's give them uh, Drill 1. There's a lot of jungle around here, so they need that extra bonus fighting in uh, difficult terrain. Venice can fire upon an enemy. We are going to take out these broods. There we go. And I'm actually just going to fortify my unit here for a turn and let them heal up just a little bit. Um, I really love this increased scout range with the the scouts, increased viewing range with the scouts. That is uh, really, really good. Um, we can found a pantheon as well. So we're going to do that in the next episode. That is all the time we have for. I hope you're enjoying this Civilization 5 playthrough with Venice. I'll see you all again soon tomorrow for the next episode of Civilization 5.